Hey guys, welcome back. Mike here at MH Tutorials. Well guys, today we are going to model a tin roof. All right, I got a question to do so, so that's what we're gonna do today. All right, we're gonna switch to our top view. We're gonna go to Create, CV Curve Tool, and we're just gonna pick one of these corners and we're gonna kind of zigzag from one point to the other. And don't make it too exact because it's a tin roof, remember? Okay. So kind of go like that. And we'll do a few more. That's about right. Okay. We're going to hit enter. We're going to go back to perspective view. We're going to hit control D to duplicate. W to pull up and pull it up to the extent of the length that you want for your uh, tin plate, if you will, okay? Then select them both, go to your surfaces menu and go to surfaces and loft, which will give you this shape right here, okay? Now I wanna convert this to polygons, so I'm gonna drag select that, modify and uh, convert NURBS to polygons, all right? Move that out. Now this guy, right click, control vertex and so forth. That's my NURBS. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. The system seems to be a bit lagging here for some reason. Okay, so that guy's gone. And this guy here, modify center pivot, edit, delete by type, history and modify freeze transformations. There we go. Okay. Now, we're gonna rotate that somewhat to about there. <clears throat> All right. And then we're gonna hit Control D to copy. And we're gonna move that over. And we're gonna have just a little bit of overlap here because these ends are pointing down. You don't necessarily have to, but, um, We'll just do that for now, all right? So we've got these two sections, and what you can do next is take these two, hit Control D, raise them up just slightly, and then move them up. So we get we get a little a little bit of uh, overlap right there, all right? And we're gonna keep some space between the two and we'll do that on purpose, all right? And let's see if we can get some texture on this. So we'll take one of these, right click assign new material, Lambert. Go to my uh, Lambert tab, select this guy, select file, and let's see, rusted tin, there we go. Okay, I'm going to hit my uh, checkered ball here. <clears throat> okay, as you can see, it's in the wrong direction, right? So we're going to select that. We're going to go to our polygon menu. Let's go to create UVs and try planar mapping. Let's see how that works out for us. Still uh, in the wrong position, but all in all, not too bad. And then we're going to go to edit UVs, UV texture editor. Right click UV, drag select the whole thing. And let's start to rotate that. Let's see, that looks better. Yeah, it's okay. And now we need to make sure that we don't have the exact same patterns in the other ones, all right? So we're gonna select that guy, right click, assign existing material, number two, and let's rotate that the other way around. Yeah, not bad. And then we'll take this guy, assign existing material, Lambert two. Okay, we need to rotate that guy. And it's not the same pattern, so that's fine. Assign existing material, Lambert two. We'll rotate that guy. That's uh, not bad. All right, so we got that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take these and we're going to hit 
Control D to duplicate, E to rotate, and we're going to double click on our move tool and go to object mode. Once again, E to rotate, which, hang on, mesh combine, that should be a bit better, and move that to minus 180. And then let's get it into position. So I hit W, bring that out to about there. And now from our top, we're going to bring that in to about there. All right. So that's what we have so far. Now we need to cover the top here. So for that, what we'll do is we'll take a polygon cube. We're going to drag that out, pull that up. And let's make sure that guy is square. So height and depth, we'll do two by two. We're going to go to this view here. And we're going to bring that in and up. I have to zoom in four for wireframe mode and let's bring that closely to where we need to be hit e rotate that by minus 45 that's all right we're going to adjust the uh the length so we're going to bring that in until it fits at that end right click vertex bring these in and now we're going to move in and we're going to delete some faces here okay and actually it's a bit wide and the angle is a bit off so what we'll do is right click face take that one and that one get rid of that and now we're going to go to this view and we're going to adjust the angle. So we're going to right click the vertex, drag select these two, hit R. We're going to go back to our, our world orientation in our move tool. All right. And let's see if we can get to the angle of our roof. So right click object mode, W to bring that down, world orientation. That's pretty close. Okay. Let's give that some height. Now it does look a bit wide. So let's see if we can bring that in a little bit. And that means that I have to adjust it again, but that's okay. Right click vertex. That's all right, <coughs> excuse me. Then we're gonna give it some thickness, right click object mode, uh, edit mesh, extrude under face. Let's do 0 0.1, which will give it some thickness. And now we can bring it down and into position. All right, right click object mode, hit W and bring that in about there and that's not bad okay let's give that guy some texture let's see what that's looking like okay right click assign new material Lambert and hit our checkered box file and I think I yeah I got that one there we go Let's see how that looks. It's all stretched out, so that's not so good. So select that. We're going to go to create UVs, planar mapping. That already looks a bit better, except for front and back. So <clears throat> we're going to right click at a face. There we go. 
assign new material, Lambert, checkered box, file, and we're going to select the same file. There we go. And create UVs, planar mapping. Come on. And go to edit UVs, UV texture editor. Right click UV, which is the whole deal, and that's not what I'm looking for. Right click UV. Let's see, that's probably, yeah, that's the whole thing. So, <coughs> excuse me. That's better. Automatic mapping. Select that one. Create UVs. Automatic mapping looks much better. Yeah, it's much better. Okay. All right. So here's our tin roof. And um, yeah, pretty basic, straightforward. Um, you can give it a lot more detail if you want, of course. We could do some. Uh, for example, what we can do is right-click, go to Vertex, just take a number of these vertices and just kind of, you know, create some dents and so forth. I'm going to hit B on my keyboard. Hang on. What we'll do is we'll go to our modification tool here. Deformation. We'll take this guy. We'll hit B on our keyboard. And we're just going to drag select that. Okay, hold down your B and your left mouse, and you can make that area bigger or smaller. And we'll just kind of dent that a little bit, bang it up, if you will. Okay, we'll do the same here. And hang on, let's get a bit bigger area there. Let's see if that shows. Yeah, it does. Okay, so that's not bad. <clears throat> and you can do the same up here. You can take that guy and you can add some subdivision. So what we can do is we're going to go to um, Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop Tool, Option Box. Let's do 10. There we go. And then we'll do 3. Hit them right there. Hit Q on your keyboard. Hit B to turn off that yellow line. And then we can right click our vertex. And we'll take some individual vertices. And just uh, kind of tweak that shape a little bit. So it doesn't look so clean. Okay. There we go. Right click object mode. All right. So now if we do a quick render, and obviously we don't have any background and no image based lighting and all that stuff, but nevertheless, render settings. And I'll go to mental ray, indirect lighting, create some uh, physical sun and sky, global illumination. We'll do quality at about. 1.5 in our common tab we'll do HD 1080 there we go and let's give this a quick render okay <coughs> all right that's it um, we can try and um, close that gap a little bit so we'll just uh, go to mesh and separate. I'll take these two and we'll just check on it from this angle here. And obviously you would do that from the other side as well. And let's give that another uh, another go. Hang on. Just 
shouldn't take too long. So we close that gap just a little bit, uh, depending on, you know, if you want shade there or not. And um, that's a pretty easy way to uh, come up with, uh, yeah, a tin roof. All right. So that's pretty much it for this uh, tutorial. Uh, if you've got any questions, as always, let me know. Uh, thank you guys for watching, as always, and I'd love to see you guys again. Thanks. Bye.